My name is Ali. I'm 20 years old. I have had type 1 diabetes for about two years now, and this is my story. So I always wash my hands before I check my blood sugar. So I wash my hands, check my blood sugar. So one day I was uh, I was in the I was in the jacuzzi with my friend Carl, and this was probably like two months ago, maybe less. And I'm pretty insecure about taking off my shirt. In, in the public at least. And I took my shirt off and he said, wow, man, you really did gain weight. And I, and I kind of looked at him and said, I've never really been skinny. I've always been kind of on the chubbier side ever since I could remember. You know, being that, being that chubbier side, I, I might be exaggerating a little bit, but I never thought about it much as a young guy until um, I started really focusing on trying to get better at basketball, getting better at that sport. And then after that, um, getting diagnosed with diabetes, I just really wanted to get in good shape. And when I was diagnosed, I was determined to be in the best shape of my life. And that was the turning point for me. When I heard I got diagnosed, I used that as a, as a chip on my shoulder to want to have better health want to have a better body, want to feel good, want to feel great, want to help all the others along the way um, by inspiring them, sharing my, sharing my journey. So you know, me, um, it was always that skinny fat physique and just having to show people on YouTube and social media uh, where I'm at with, with my body, it, it's hard for me, you know, because people think I'm in great shape, you know, they see a good amount of mass on me, but that's it, that's one thing to quote unquote get big. I don't have much admiration for it, at least for my sake, because uh, you know I used to binge eat once a week. Thank goodness I can say I used to. So my approach to it is I want to get healthier, you know, and improve my mental focus and and, and my emotional well-being at the same time while getting stronger and feeling great. So that that's that's big for me. Um, Getting diagnosed with diabetes and and realizing that I was on the fatter side, on the chubbier side, skinny fat, it just made me more insecure and obsessive, and that's what kind of led me to that binge eating once a week, rather than you know what, let me take this baby steps, let me conquer it today, not think so much about tomorrow, and uh, if I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I'm not gonna beat myself up for it. I'm not a perfect robot. <laughs> I'm just I'm just starting. So yeah, my name is Ali, I'm 20 years old. I have had type one diabetes for about two years now. And this is my story. All right guys, we're doing a physique update. Now, the first time I did this, I was really scared. This is something huge for me and I'm thinking about making this some kind of cool fancy video just to show you guys the level of like, how hard this is for me. And the reason why I think it's hard is one, I'm insecure. And number two is, it's hard to fathom a person who weighs everything or at least, you know, really cares for its health, works out almost every day, and is still overweight. But it's for the people that, you know, are insecure too, on a different level, even worse than me. And I'm doing it for them. A couple of people on Snapchat, uh, you know who you are, Instagram, people that are just scared to show their weight, their face. I'm a very honest person, I'm very apparent. So this is for you guys and for you guys only. So let's get into it. The hard part. Guys, this is my biggest struggle, belly fat. Now I got pretty good shoulders, traps. Um, I work pretty hard in terms of lifting. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. That was hard for me. Love y'all.